we've gotten so into introspection and rumination and trying to unpack things instead of more being action oriented and forward thinking reminiscing as you know this idea of really sitting and savoring with the things that we really do enjoy so that we sort of attract them more so not necessarily the law of attraction or anything metaphysical but it's clear that when we spend time thinking about the things that really do light us up one, we expand the fun that we do have because we go right back into that moment, right? So it's a great way when we do have these like small moments in line, instead of, you know, picking our phone out and looking at someone else's curated life, we can remember like, wow, you know, I really enjoyed that. And oftentimes when we do engage in the act of reminiscing, it's a good segue into going, you know what, I haven't talked to Johnny. I haven't talked to AJ for a long time. Like, let me reach out because you know, we need to do something again. This was a, a great time. Instead of letting Facebook do it for you, you know, where you get the random, you know, yearly yeah. reminder of memory. the fact <laughs> that your cousin died and you're like, what, this is <laughs> like the memory I want to remember. So doing it for yourself becomes an interesting feedback loop, one that we often don't do because, you know, we've kind of been trained to unpack all of these horrible things and unpacking trauma episodically. I I'm not suggesting you stop doing that because it is effective, but sitting with malaise and discomfort and trauma is clearly not a path to betterment. And so flipping the script and using those opportunities to be like, you know what, life can be fun and I have a lot more control over it than I thought um, becomes you know, an effective strategy for making sure your fun habit is a continued upward spiral as it were. Well, I'm not always good at reading Johnny's chicken scratch, but he has one <laughs> quote that's always on his whiteboard that you can't think your way into acting, but you can act your way into thinking. And so much of what we're talking about here is just taking that bit of action, just taking that, that opportunity in your life to actually seek the fun allows you the opportunity to think about the fun, to reminisce on other memories, to reach out to other people, and opens up all of these pathways that we shut ourselves off from by staying in our logical, analytical mind, ruminating over what could have been, what we'd like to, what we wish we were doing, what we hope we can do in the future, when I just get this promotion, when I just buy this house, when I just get this car, then I'll go on the trip, then I'll learn the guitar, then I'll join the club, then I'll join the bowling league. You're exactly right. And the thing is, time passes us by. You kind of gave a head nod. And what's clear, again, that sort of backs this up, because there's a whole host of of research that we could dig into. But the, the one that you alluded to that's also important is more and more research is backing up the fact that we've overprescribed on financial affluence and that folks that deprioritize needing to make that next dollar and understand that the only thing that most of us can't, well, that none of us can make more of, right? Again, I suggest that most of us and probably most of your listeners could make more money if they wanted to. And so it's an important thing to understand, right? Mm -hmm. If you really want to go drive Uber, you could line your bank account with more money. The one thing that none of us are going to get more of is time. And so when you have a rich understanding of that, you tend to use your time better, especially, you know, if you aren't an entrepreneur, if you are someone, you know, essentially making somebody else rich, you realize, okay, well, I'm an honest person. I want an honest value exchange. I'm going to work hard for a good paycheck. But at the end of the day, I also want to use some of this time that's something that I only have a finite amount of to actually enjoy life because life is a gift, right? Whether you're spiritual or not, I think, you know, even secular people like we're here, you know, and we're here for a limited time. And so we shouldn't give it all away.